Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa. I'm Corin. And welcome to our GNS virtual tour. Um, I'm in grade 12 and I'm starting my second year of the IB diploma and I've been at GNS for five years. I came when I was in grade 7 from Calgary so I know exactly what the experience is like coming to a new school from out of town. I'm also going into grade 12 and like Vanessa I'm going into my second year uh, with the IB diploma at GNS. Um, I've been at GNS for six years now, I came in grade 6 and before that I was in Scotland so we both share that experience. Yeah. And so behind us right now is the Denford Hall. Uh, you can see it from the street as we're driving by. And here's where we have our fall play, our spring musical, and our weekly assemblies. And yeah, I did the play when I was in grade eight and it was such a fun experience. Even if you don't have a ton of theater experience, it was really fun to do. I've been involved in uh, a few productions and I think the hall is a great place to get involved as a student. We do student to student performances as well as student to parent performances. Uh, you'll see the band and the choir in here. It's a really creative space. Yeah, and to our right here is the turf where we have our year round sports and we host PE classes on the turf and it's also a great space to come to at recess and enjoy the sun. So let's go on our tour. So on our right we have the Simpson Building. We have a bunch of the humanities in there, uh, like geography, economics, and history. We also have the University Guidance Center, where our university counselors will help students progress from high school into university and then into life. Um, and then lastly, there's the Math Help Center in there, which is a great resource. I know I've been helped out by that leading up to tests. Uh, you can go in at, re at a recess or after school and find two teachers in there for some extra math help. And then on our left, we have um, our indoor gym in the Goodwill building. Uh, we hold sports teams, we hold um, practices, and we hold PE classes in there. We also hold student interims. So last year we had volleyball and dodgeball run by students in there. Um, and it's a great place for the community to come together and cheer on our indoor uh, uh, sports teams. Yeah, and behind us is the Atkins building. And on the lower level we have our computer and design labs. And on the upper level we have our science classrooms and science labs. So there's our biochem and physics classrooms as well as our general science classrooms. And uh, the rooms, they're a great place to go and talk to your teachers if you have any extra questions or want to get some extra help. And the labs are great for conducting your own experiments. And yeah. So the grade nines participate in a school-wide science fair and some of them progress into the Vancouver Island Regional Science Fair and after that even National Science Fair. Um, so we have a great track record at National Science Fair because of our easy to use labs in the Atkins. Yeah, so let's keep going on the tour. So right now we are in the center of the campus and this is a great spot just to connect with the GNS community. And to our right here is the dining hall where we have our hot lunch program that's available to all students. And a really cool part of the community is that um, behind the scenes in the kitchen, um, we have our parent volunteers that help with the hot lunch. And so that's really cool. And so this space is great for eating your lunch and hanging out with your friends at lunchtime. Um, but the space can also be used outside of lunch. So if you want to meet with your tutor here, or if you have a study, um, you can bring all your stuff down here and use the space to work on some homework. So yeah, it's a really cool space to use and I'm in here quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so sense of community is huge at GNS. Not only do students have the um, opportunity to make cross-grade connections with programs like band, theater, and sports, but uh, also with our family boarding program, which brings kids from all over the world uh, into Victoria and to our school. It's a great way to expose yourself to different cultures um, and challenge your views, uh, and it creates a network of people around the world. So let's go to the next stop. So right now we are at the senior school main entrance and this spot right here is the drop-off spot for most of our students. So members of the GNS community come from all over, whether you walk, bike, drive, or take the GNS bus to school, this is where you'll most likely come in. And um, on the first floor of the building, we have our senior school office where you can go in if you need anything or need to check in. Um, we have our learning um, acquisition office and our library. And the library is a 
great place um, to study and hang out at lunch and after school. Um, and it's also where a lot of our extracurriculars and clubs meet. So for example, Model United Nations, Debate, Student Activity Council, um, Photography Club, and Round Square. I'm in Round Square, so we meet there once a week. And Round Square is a really cool opportunity um, to learn more about um, global issues and different countries and it gives you really cool unique opportunities to travel the world. And then on the left we have our arts building. Uh, there's a middle school art room in there, there's the choir room and the band room. I've been in all of those arts as many of our students have been through the middle school. They get exposed to those arts. Um, I'm now in band and um, we get lots of opportunities to travel just like Round Square. So whether you're in sports, arts, or Round Square, there's lots of opportunities to go to different countries uh, and learn about different cultures. So we were going to go to Hawaii last year and we were all very excited for that. Um. Yeah. And um, on the second floor of Goodwill Building, we have more classrooms. Uh, so my English and Spanish classrooms are up there, but they have many different uses for many different subjects, um, as well as our athletics office. And again, classrooms are a great place to hang out and um, you're welcome to go in and talk to teachers anytime. So let's go to our final stop. So here we are in front of the main building. Um, admissions is on the first floor behind us. Uh, there are lots of middle school buildings surrounding us at the moment, but it's also um, lots of shared spaces between the senior school and the middle school, like the Scott Fitness Center on our right, uh, where anyone in the school can go and exercise and stay healthy. Uh, I know we have PE classes that use that area, and in the senior school we have Lifting Club, where you can go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and get some exercise. Uh, we have weights, we have, treadmill, we have treadmills, we have bikes, and we have ergs in there, so it's a great place to lift some weights and stay healthy. Yeah, and in front of us is the Gryffindor, which is our uniform store where you get your uniform. Um, it also provides really cool volunteer opportunities, so you can volunteer after school or at lunchtime with unpacking shipments or organizing the clothing. And so where we're standing right now in front of the admissions office is where you will meet for your in-person tour. Uh, so that's really the end of our virtual tour. Uh, we really hope that you enjoyed coming along the campus with Vanessa and I. Um, if you wish to book an in-person tour, you can see the link on your screen, uh, and we hope to see you on campus soon.